Today's the day we do the big three, which I'm not happy about because it's dirty and I have to go in the car and the alternator's in an awkward position if you're in a Corsa. Anywho, the yeah, only way you can get to the Corsa D's alternator is underneath the car and it's not too bad once you get to these. So you see that bolt there with the red cable? I need to get access to that. So from my knowledge, that's just going straight to the battery alternator to the battery so I need to do that one next one I need to do alternator to chassis or ground and then battery to ground that's quite that's quite simple but first step just remove that bolt put your uh, ring terminal or whatever you're using onto the on with a zero gauge attached then run that to the battery safely and out of all the mechanical moving places Right, so my battery is a bit low, so flash isn't on, but you get an idea. So that's my zero gauge attached onto that bolt that I showed you before. Um, it's quite an easy job, and then just run it. Oh, can't see anymore. Just run it straight to the top of the car near the battery. Okay, so the wire that I was previously talking about from the alternator will run along your preference, obviously out of the way. I followed the previous one, which was in um, this little coating of plastic. So that ran all the way up here onto the positive, nice and secure. And that's my zero gauge for my other battery, which is in the trunk. Then we've got the battery to the ground, so I'm just quite simple there. And I put it down there, if you can see that. Then I've decided just to attach the chassis to the engine block. So I've used these mounting points which were not in use. Run it, cable tied it, make sure it's not touching anywhere. And then went to the chassis. And then my filter is going back there to hide it all. That's it, job done. Big three. Now I'm just to test if I've got any differences hopefully I do and not enough not any light dimming anymore which is very annoying